Hello everyone. We will deliver the news that became a hot topic on August 4, 2023. An 87-year-old woman fought off an intruder, then fed him after he told her he was awfully hungry. Two minutes read. Marjorie Perkins said she awoke at 2 a.m. on July 26 and saw the young man standing over her bed. The intruder struck her on the cheek and forehead before switching tactics and heading for the kitchen. Perkins dialed 911 on her rotary phone and was talking to a dispatcher while the intruder collected his pants and left. Below are your comments. Alcohol to give him courage to do what he imagined when he was sober. Pants. Shirt and shoes off. And a knife in his possession. He intended to do her much greater harm. He did not expect a fight back. Assault of an elderly person should be added to his charge and no shielding of his name because oh. 100% agreed. There are consequences to all actions. This is the kind of person that makes America truly great. Brave. Plain spoken and compassionate. We need many more like her. Saint Praxted. You are so right. But most importantly we need more people like you who'll stop for a moment to point out. Especially to the younger generation. This kind of courage and empathy this elderly woman had even under these insane circumstances. Young people need to learn that we all need tea. Next news. Trump sued Michael Cohen for $500 million. Now he's worried he's at risk of self-incrimination. Three minutes read. This is what happens when you don't think through your lawsuit before you file it, one attorney said. Below are your comments. I don't know Stormy. Okay. I knew Stormy but I didn't pay her. Okay. But even if I paid her. I did nothing wrong. Inside the mind of a stable genius. And his base cheers. I think Michael Cohen should counter sue because when. And it is a matter of when. Not if. Trump withdraws the lawsuit. Cohen can still call him to the witness stand and make him the fifth a thousand times. Wouldn't surprise me at all. You see all the witless people at the rallies on various videos. Also saw a video of a vlogger on YouTube who could not form a coherent sentence. He didn't even look like he takes showers and was hacking up spit every two seconds and spitting it into an empty Coke bottle. Coke not Mount Dew or Dr. Pepper. Certainly a MAGA wouldn't touch Bud Light. I saw the same guy. Sentence structure isn't his strong suit. Neither is thinking. Next news. Confused Karen protests targets Pride merch by wearing blackface. Two minutes read. The Daily Beast Twitter a video of an angry shopper Karen has gone viral. Showing the woman proudly parading through a Denver target wearing blackface. Aggressively. And cynically. Asking employees for Pride merchandise. The video was uploaded to Twitter, the platform now known as X, by at ICEYX Blues on Wednesday but removed early Thursday. TMZ identified the rogue shopper as Air Celia Campbell, my mom and I dealt W. I T H. This in a Target in Denver today, the post was captioned. Dude WTF. Campbell can. Below are your comments. Our society is messed up. We need ranked choice voting and open primaries to give power back to the people. The dominant parties don't represent our interests. Independents are 42% of electorate whereas Democrats are 29% and Republicans are 27%. We implemented ranked choice voting before our last election. There's no more party control over who can show up on our ballots. Strangely. The Democrats have no problem with the power of elections being in the hands of the people but the GOP is going crazy. So they took the stake to court. W-H-E-R. In the 60s they would have just sent this broad to the nuthouse. They should have never closed all the state-run mental facilities. Yahoo headlines basically back this up on a daily basis. Absolutely true. The root issue with mental health we have today is based on closing all the state institutions. They should have been revamped. Not closed. That was huge mistake. 
There are virtually no treatment options now so mental health is just integrated into society and not well. Next news. Ukraine released footage of a HIMARS strike on Russians gathering out in the open on a beach, saying it took out 200 troops. Two minutes read. The drone footage appeared to show soldiers standing in formation and exercising on a beach before a HIMARS rocket swooped in on the sandbank. Below are your comments. The irony is that Russia is now offended that some of their structures are now being destroyed along with loss of lives, but have no remorse for what they have done to the Ukraine people, which has been far worse. It's time other countries step up and support Ukraine in bringing down Putin. I feel sorry for the families of all these young Russian men who were forced to fight in Putin's dream war. But on the other side, it is good to see the Ukraine making headway against Putin's crusade. Things happen during special military operations just like they happen in war. Even more so when you are on the other team's home field. Get caught out in the open and this will happen in war. No mercy. It doesn't matter if they are conscripts or not. The officers put them in that spot. The BDA will be miserable for them. Loss of human life is never a good thing when they are forced into joining the war. They have families too. Next news. Come on bruh. Accused Oregon abductor challenges the idea that black men don't do stuff like that. Three minutes read. Who would have thought that a 29-year-old husband and father of two had been holding a woman captive in his home in the quiet suburb of Klamath Falls? Or? It wasn't until one victim escaped from his captivity that the man's alleged schemes were exposed. Below are your comments. People of all races have done stuff like this. To think otherwise is to be extremely ignorant. Call me. IGN. Because, come on, he identifies as a whitey. No black will sighted you. No Caucasian will protect you. Dot the color of your skin did not do such crime. Accept every punishments that you deserved. He should try that excuse when he gets to prison and his new roommates find out his charges. Love to know how that goes for him. Sue, where was his wife during all of this? Next news. Serbian coal miners uncover Roman ship. Two minutes read. Archaeologists in Serbia are painstakingly brushing sand and soil off the ancient woodwork of a Roman ship discovered by miners in a vast open cast coal quarry. After an excavator at the DRMNO mine uncovered some timber. Experts from the site of a nearby former Roman settlement known as Viminatium rushed to try and preserve the skeleton of the ship. The second such discovery in the area since 2020. The vessel was probably part of a river fleet serving the sprawling and highly developed Roman sea. Below are your comments. Awesome find. I just love reading stories like this. I always wanted to be an archaeologist like Dr. Indiana Jones, but had none of the charisma and a more of a face for radio and a voice for print. Just goes to show where the shoreline used to be, 2,000 years ago. Roman mammoths? So where it was found? Sand. I assume they're used to water. With that said, where's the water? Where did it disappear to? Our water sources now are running dry and people are trying to blame it on climate change, global warming. If water could run out back in that day, how are we so sure global wa? Unless constrained by man-made infrastructure, levees, or canyon walls, rivers routinely change course with changing sediment load and weather conditions. Change distances can be substantial. Miles for some places. I'm more curious about the proximity of the coal mine to the river. Next news. Man is charged with cheating Home Depot stores out of $300,000 with door return scam. Two minutes read. A Connecticut man was given nearly $300,000 in fraudulent Home Depot credit by walking into stores in several states, taking expensive doors and then returning them without a receipt. Federal prosecutors allege Alexander Henrique Costa Moda, 26, 
of West Hartford, Connecticut, was detained without bail after a judge entered not guilty pleas on his behalf this week in federal court in Rhode Island to wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Providence said in below are your comments. Someone in loss prevention needs to be monitoring or at least reviewing security camera footage near the returns counter to make sure the items being returned are not coming from within the store. We had no loss prevention at our store and when you reported a person trying to steal, they ignored you. I found a site where management employees were cashing in on perks using the ones that people never claimed and using a fake name to do it with. Talking about five figures and it was still going on. Ugh, guys like this make it hard on regular customers. If the return was denied, he would take the doors without paying and return them at another store. Quote, either this guy has the ability to make himself and his stolen goods invisible or Home Depot's loss. Prevention department is hilariously inept. And are we to understand that he did all this without any eye? Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.